Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to talk about how to take out the transmission on a Honda Civic. It's a 1997 automatic transmission. I'm going to try to explain it as best as I can because I, myself, when I look up videos on taking things out, I can't find anything that tells you exactly what you're supposed to do. So I'm going to show you the best of my ability of exactly what to do to take it out. You can also use these things to taking out transmissions for other cars, even if it's not the same thing. Be sure before you go onto your car that you have it jacked up and put it on proper jack stands and something to hold it up so all the safety is done. And wear safety glasses when you're under the car and preferably over the car so nothing will get in your eyes. Make sure that you um, put uh, boards or something or wheel chocks behind the tires in the back when you jack the front of the car up to make sure the car doesn't move. Now take the battery off. Make sure that you don't do this side first. You, ha you want to do the negative first so it doesn't cross and electrocute you. Different terminals have different size nuts on them. Mine are halves. You just have to loosen them up so then they can um, come off. Make sure you undo the negative before you touch the positive. I've done that before and it's not good. Make sure that this is further away from the battery so it doesn't hit it. And if you need to take the battery out, this is different clamps. Mine have the wing nuts on them. You just unscrew them and it will come out. Now for, to take this part out, <clears throat> you're going to need to take this out so you can get to the other stuff underneath. There's a bolt right here, and then there's another bolt down under here. Right, right there. The first thing you can do is you can take this out. This just pops out and you can set it over the side. And then you're, these are 10, 10 millimeter and you just need to ratchet and then just the first one and then and those just come off you can put them somewhere that you so you don't lose them and then this thing just pops out of this there's a clamp down here that you got to pop out of it's not a screw you just pull it out because this hooks in there and then that's out to take this off there's a bolt right here, underneath right here, and then there's another one over here. Before you do that, disconnect this connector. It just has a squeeze tab. And you just need a 12 socket for these, unless your motor has a different size. This one's 12. Be sure to place them somewhere that you can find them later. And then it should just pop off. And if you're just taking the transmission out, you can just set it over to the side so it's out of the way. But if you need to take it out, just take these wires off and you can take it off. Okay, the plug for the radiator is right here because you're going to need to drain that out so antifreeze doesn't spill everywhere when you take the transmission out. All you're going to need is just some pliers. And then just loosen this up and then it will drain out. And make sure you have a drain pan.
It may take a while if you don't undo the radiator cap. All right, the next thing you're gonna need to do after the radiator is drained is to make it easier to take transmission out, there's a plug right there, right there. All you need is a regular ratchet to loosen it. And then you should just be able to take it off with your finger. Just don't drop it into the very thin. Just a reminder, you don't have to do both at the same time. All right, while you're waiting for the stuff to drain, you can go ahead and disconnect all these connectors. There's, um, they're just, most of them are just pinch removed. This one just pops off. And then there's the O2 sensor over here that just comes out. Let me smooth that over. This hose <clears throat> is probably gonna be in your way. And then this one right here, I'm gonna take it out because it's just so I can see better. And the transmission fluid's done draining. Just put the screw back so it, that way it doesn't drain out any excess when you're moving it later. When the uh... Radiator is finally done draining. Just tighten the thing back up with your fingers. It shouldn't be as tight because there's not as much pressure. Now take these hoses off. All you need is just a flat screwdriver and then you just loosen this up. It depends on what kind of car you have. So if um, some of the hoses will have the clamps that you have to use pliers to get them off, but this one only has the screw ones. And this is loose, so it should be able to just come off. Just pull it up quick enough, antifreeze won't spill out. Because there's going to be some leftover in the actual engine. And you can just set it like that for now, so just to make sure extra stuff will fall out. After you take that off, you can plug up the hole so nothing uh, drains out of the engine. So it doesn't get all over you when you're trying to take the transmission apart. And then you can just take this, this, this connector right here off. It's the same as the other ones. And this hose is going to be in the way. So it's just the same thing. You just loosen it up a little bit. And then this comes loose. And you should be able to pull it right off. And if it's too stubborn, you can use a screwdriver to pry it loose. And then it should come the rest of the way on its own. It's better to take this, this um, ground wire off earlier so you don't forget about it. It's just an eight millimeter. You take it off and it's attached to the, the side wall. And if you forget it, it's gonna rip off when you're taking the transmission down. Wires you're gonna to need to take off are gonna be underneath. There's one right here. And then there's one right above that, right here. And then those should just pull up through the top and you can get those wires out of the way. You can just, after you pull the wires out, there's gonna be the there's a connect in, connection to the starter. This one should just pop out. It's just a small connector. And then this one, it's gonna, you're gonna need a socket to take off. And for this, you're just gonna need a 12 socket. And you should just be able to loosen the nut up enough for you just to take it off. You just take that off and then you just use a tin to take this um, bracket off because that's attached to the starter. And this comes off and then you can get to the starter. Now take the starter off. You're gonna need to take this bolt off and then there's another bolt, that bolt right there. This one, it's gonna be at the other side of the starter so.
These bolts are pretty long, so it's going to take you a minute if you use your fingers. For the bottom one, you're going to need a longer extension or something so you can be able to reach it. And after those two are out, the starter should just come right out. There's also one more connector right here. Make sure you get so it doesn't break off. And I also missed the connector down here. Right here. It should just come out. It's just right next to the dipstick. There's one more. And then these will be able to move out of the way finally. Okay, the next thing you want to do is to undo these lines right here. There's two lines right here that go into the transmission. So you just need the screwdriver again and just loosen these. And after they're loose, you can just um, use the screwdriver to push them off. Or you can use your hands to pull them off too. Usually the screwdriver works better unless you have smaller hands than mine. Just have like a drain pan or something underneath so if something drips out then it'll be okay. There shouldn't be that much in it if you drain the transmission. Alright, one of the things to take the exhaust, you have to take the exhaust off. This bolt and then there's a bolt right here. There's also one more nut right here. Those one, these are just 17s, 17 millimeter. You should be able just to get it with a regular ratchet. And make sure you have your safety glasses on because the exhausts have lots of rust on them and they might fall on your eyes. Right. After you get the bolts out, it, will, it should just rest because all you need to do is get this bolt, this one, this one right here, and then this bolt. And then this brace will come off. Now these these ones on this side and then up there these ones were twelves and then these ones on the these ones are fourteens. Right, after you take the the bolts out, this should just come right out. And then you're gonna need to take um, this plate off. These are tens. So There's gonna be one right here, here right here after you get the bolts off it should just fall right out you're gonna have to be able to take these out okay use a 10 just to take out the bolts and after you get one out you should be able to turn the engine right here it's a 17 all you gotta do is um set a ratchet to tightening and turn it and then that will make the flywheel move so you can take the next bolts off. All right, after you get all the bolts out, you should just be able to turn it and get this last bolt out. All right, after you get all the eight bolts out, just spin it around real quick and make sure you got them. All right, what we're gonna need to take off next is this bolt right here and then you're gonna need to take this off they're both 12s so you can take off this cover for the shifting cable and after you get those out these sh this should just come right off all right next thing after you get the cover off there's a bolt right here that is holding the cable in place. So all you gotta do is get a 10 and take that off. And then it should just come off. Let's see. Look. 
comes off. You should be able to pull this back a little so you can get it out from back from behind the flywheel and it comes right off. <laughs>